child's play with chilling consequences. Tonight, a 12-year-old boy is in the hospital. Police say his own 10-year-old sister accidentally shot him with a loaded gun they found unlocked inside their home. CBS 13 Steve Large is in Turlock with what family says went tragically wrong. Well, this little boy is being kept sedated in the hospital. His mother by his side, the whole family praying he gets better. Meantime, police are preparing to recommend a criminal charge in this case. My prayers definitely go out to, uh, to the family. Neighbors are praying for a 12-year-old boy's recovery as he lays in the hospital. His basketball hoop sits idle outside his home. No, I could only imagine what they're going through. A family member tells CBS 13 the boy found his uncle's loaded handgun inside a closet and he began playing with it with his 10-year-old sister. That family member says the little girl accidentally shot her brother while their mother was sleeping inside the home and their uncle was in another part of the home. The Turlock Journal reports the two were playing a game of cops and robbers when the gun went off. Family says the bullet hit the boy in the hand. Fragments also hit him in the head. The injury so severe, he was life flighted to a local hospital. It was a gut wrenching call. Turlock Police Chief Nino Amirfar says he was on duty Friday when the call of a child shot came across the radio. He describes the call as among the most difficult a law enforcement officer responds to. I just ask everyone that's a gun owner, please make sure you secure your weapon. California law requires loaded firearms in homes with children be stored in a locked container or the firearm itself have a locking device on it. Turlock police are preparing to recommend a charge of unlawful storage of a firearm in this case. A young brother and sister playing what they thought was a make-believe game, ending with a real-life gunshot inside their own home. It's just heart-dropping. You know, I, I don't even know how, to, how you would explain that. And this 12-year-old boy is listed in critical but stable condition. His family says he'll need to undergo surgery before he's released from the hospital.